All right, so I think I may start doing a few equipment reviews on some things. And uh, the way I view a review is I'm not comparing one machine versus another. Um, that gets into opinions. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go over some equipment that we have, maybe throw one out there every couple of weeks or so. And hopefully some business owner somewhere will be able to get an idea of how the machine so works. Whenever I go to purchase a piece of equipment, I 99% of the time go on YouTube and watch the machine operate and watch it function and see if it'll work for me. May even get a demo uh, out of it and uh, you know, have the, the vendor bring the machine to me and let me try it out. Well, uh, typically these are called reviews is what I watch but I, my review isn't uh, typical and what I mean by that is most of the time reviews are opinions and uh, you know there's lots of them out there so I'm not going to really get into this machine is better than that machine or whatever we buy equipment based on if it fits our need and so I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about this machine. You're going to get to see a tour through the factory, how they make these machines. Uh, it's LT Rich Z Spray, Z Plug. And you can make a decision for yourself whether you want to get the machine or not. Um, so we mainly bought the machines for aeration. And I've got a few tines missing. I've got brand new tines in the box. Just need to get them put on. Uh, for us, they work exceptionally well. They, they do exactly what Andy and LT Rich say they do. They're incredibly fast. Uh, we go up and down hills really good with them. Uh, side slopes somewhat. Uh, they do have this mechanism here that locks the front casters and it will hold somewhat of a, a hill side, you know, at an at a angle course if it's too steep it won't um but sorry i don't have a lot of action shots this is just that time of the year and uh, we're super busy but uh, you basically raise and lower It actually has a spreader attachment you can get with it. We spread grass seed with it just fine. Uh, spread fertilizer with it just fine. Uh, you have to watch the front end if you get it too heavy. It, the back tires do spin a little bit, but that's common sense. You don't overload the front uh, with this long of a wheelbase. Um, we actually have the slit cedar attachment for it. Uh, I think it's about 36 inches wide. Uh, phenomenal job. In bare dirt application uh, these things right here they roll and they put tons of little holes in it and bust the ground up and get a good loose seed bed and then the actual cedar part drops the seed um, if you're in a nice thick tall fescue yard uh, we don't use this uh, just because that's not uh, the right application for that job uh, we use the plugger but bare dirt application, this thing is the bomb. Uh, you can slit seed really, really fast. Does a great job. Um, deflector shield, keeps stuff out of the beds. Actually has a spray. We ordered the one, the two we got had the spray system on it. And you basically unhook the, the aerator or the slit seeder and drive off the head and then you would attach the sprayer to it and just plug up a couple of nozzles uh, a couple of fittings and all of that works right here do we honestly do very little spraying with them uh we have another machine we use for that but as far as plugging uh mid-size to large size properties i couldn't be more happy with it it's a great machine and it has really increased our uh revenue by increasing allows us to do more yards during the course of a day and uh, we love them probably the next time 
we're in the need for a larger uh, aer aerator, this is probably what we're going to buy because it's just it works. So uh, hope this helps anybody. If you're you know in the market for something like this and you need it, uh, highly get my recommendation and um, enjoy this uh, footage. Uh, we took a vacation up north and got to go and view the uh, Z Spray factory uh, where they make this stuff. Andy and Tom were polite enough to do that and uh, I tried to give Andy a Tar Heel hat but he wouldn't take it and uh, you just enjoy it man it's a, an incredible process the way they make this it's super neat super clean uh, you can go in there and eat lunch on the floor if you wanted to it's just a really nice organization great folks the employees we met were super duper uh, as far as customer service goes whenever I've had a breakage or whenever I needed something uh, I'd text or call Andy and immediately they jump right on it no problems whatsoever I actually had him make me and I don't have it in the video it's somewhere around here but it's an, an additional sprayer that mounts here and it's a little seven gallon unit uh, for some different things we do and uh, he customized that for me and uh, it just worked out really well so um, enjoy this tour of the factory and enjoy the ride up to Indiana um, got great scenic views going up through those mountains man West Virginia and Kentucky it's just a, a, a really cool place
Picture of the first Z spray. Yeah. Okay. And this and this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we do some videos of it, but all your sprayer comes out of this stainless steel stack here. Yeah. And some of these seats can be anywhere, you know, eleven hundred dollars for a, for the shakes. Yeah. But they'll suction cup that and they'll pull it on this conveyor. Set it down. These are Cincinnati lasers, which now down where you're at. And you can watch the laser. Um, you can see how fast it's cutting this out. You see that, Jack? You see that cutting it? You see it cutting the metal? Cutting the pieces. gets done, this one will roll under there and that one will come over the top. So basically, so. basically a computer program tells right. it what to do. Right, it's going to go inside that red line. Right? Yeah. So the other thing is, it's real easy to get a ton of inventory in here. Yeah. Uh, Machine-wise. But they'll build everything, they'll lay the cut out the flat, and they come out here and put it on those shelves. Okay. All right. So they cut out all the pieces right. first. Yeah. Cut out the all the pieces spot. and shelved it. Next thing they have to do is bend it all. Yeah. Uh, make, make a check. So, let's see what Brian's making. The front bumper yep. on the Z spray. That's exactly and that what that is. That will come in and out. Look at that. Exactly. Moving so far. And we're really not supposed to talk to him, but he's going to concentrate so he doesn't change yeah. his fingers. But, isn't that cool? Yeah, so he'll take that. And really it, cool. It's kind of neat. We'll watch it start the next one, but uh, that backstop will move each time so it knows exactly how far down to go yeah. to get the bend. It that's doesn't a, mess up. That's a 45, I guess, probably. And then I'll bend that side. And then that little stop moves. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. And if you had a hand on that top, you see how it scratches against? So yeah. You learn where to put your hand and where you don't. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. That'll work out well. And these are some of your boom pieces. Yeah. So this got all boom. folded up, but it's not welded yet. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. they have, they'll have to weld that. And it's, this is batch 50, then in fact, you'll put your parts on, rotate this, the robot's welded inside. I take the finished ones off, put new ones on, rotate it. So this one's really fast. Keep going, down. yeah. That one over there, you got to turn it on. Somebody's got to walk away. When it gets finished, you go back and put, put new parts on. So this welder, actually, we got after that one. This one pumps out with a lot of the little parts. Yep. Still warm, isn't it? So this is that actual yeah. machine over there that we make. Okay. And then you can see this weld right there, how nice that weld is. The robot's doing all that. Oh my gosh, man. Mm -hmm. front For the frame front. Back frame. Yeah. So when they get done welding, they'll bring their parts over here and you'll see. So this, this side of the building is where they actually put everything together. Here's where the sprayers go. So they'll roll those frames. Yeah. This guy that bolts the chassis together down here. All right, guys, this is where, this is where they take all the metal and begin to assemble it. <clears throat> so they take that front half and that back half it just bolts that together and puts the foot plate on and assembles this part of the chassis and if you look all the way down oh my gosh see look. all those different oh, steps man. to the very that's end. cool and chassis heavy they'll swing a crane in and, and it, one of the is it okay to walk down through yeah. here yep we'll go down through here engine yeah, so you can see just a little bit further how they go make sure jack's Bra been running brake brakes have put it, been put on hey watch jack's head 
Don't hit your head on anything. Yeah. Um, Hydros. Get the, the protective coating around. Yeah. Them. They'll paint mark everything to make sure they, they tighten it. Absolutely. That way you know if it was loose. That's a great and idea. Closer they are to the end of the line, they also call this quality source. So he looks at what the last time he did. We don't go too far before we find something that fixed. Well, man, we've got several of these machines, and you, man, I love them. Yeah. So he's building hoppers here at the end. Hey there. In a minute, when Chaz rolls that one forward, this hopper will go on, and that's where they'll add fuel, and they'll add oil to the machine right here where you guys are standing. They'll run it, and they can roll that cart between here and lower it, and they'll drive it off. Look, there's a seat plug. Oh, check them all out. Make sure they go straight. Look for hydraulic leaks. He does everything before it goes if, to you. If I come to Indiana and get a job, that's what I want to do. Oh, yeah. I like this. So yeah, so we can put two machines in here. Yeah. Tammy, let's sell all the equipment and buy these. Yeah. So if you, you know, if you, uh, some guys put an aerator in here and a Z spray. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we, I feel like we get enough to justify buying one because we, we do, the commercials we do, we have a lot of sidewalk area. Yeah. And this is really fast. This one's got the hopper on it. Yeah. And, uh, Oh yeah. Oh I love this thing. Rear boxes. Lights. Yep, lights. Whoa! Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's cool. And then the 20 gallon. Uh, your... So if you're looking for action shots of these things, I mean I've got plenty of places we could take it and uh do some video on it, but my time is limited right now. Uh so I don't have to, so I apologize for that, but I'm sure you can go to zspray.com, zplug.com, youtube.com, all those dot coms, and you can find videos of these things all over the place. So uh, check it out and check out how this thing works. See how fast it is.